<laughs> Look at this hand, man. This, this <laughs> is the one. Andy, this are you one taking got anything fixed. for the swelling? Naps. <laughs> <laughs> Cocktail hour. <laughs> well, you can rock and roll it right there. There it is. There it is. Uh, hi, fellas. Oh, I think I got a glare from the night. Not too bad. There you go. Yeah, I just stuck it in there. No. I have a, I have a, a tiny glare coming through the crack, but I realized that if my wind, my door is shut all the way, I get a whining from my air conditioning. So I'm just gonna yeah, crack yeah. it. I know we were, Your uh, air conditioning is, is is saying uncle. It, well, it's. Uh, it, 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 I'm uh, high uh, enough. Some sort of a pressure. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm sitting face to the sun. <clears throat> it's gonna come right here. I'm not. I, I'm counting on some cloud cover tonight. To I like it. I'm, I do the same shit over and over, and then I get mad when it fucks up. But eventually, yeah. maybe I'll get some fucking dumb luck, and I can go see. And uh, that's kind of what I'm doing with those yellow jackets. Because last night I got lit like up this. pretty good, and I'm ready to quit. I, I really <laughs> I don't. I don't have the heart for the battle anymore. I got fucking stung three times in the hand. Perfect. Uh, Hi, everybody, and welcome yeah. to Issues with Andy. This is what we do. We listen to Andy Andrist as he regales us with stories of dumb luck and eventually quitting. So yeah. if you've been following along, Andy's been battling uh, a colony of, uh, what did we decide they were? Yellow jackets? Yeah, they're meat bees. Uh, the brown, the Oregon brown hornet, is, if you, for any, uh, any botanists yeah. out there. Shaley, you sound, like you're in, sound, you sound like you're in Darth Vader's toilet. Oh, hold on. It, it, it switched my, uh, my mic. Oh man! Here we go. It, it, it did indeed. How's that? Is that that's better? better. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, it, it automatically switched to the earpods. It's something so, I didn't know. Go ahead. So the only thing we asked of Andy last week was, after he attempted to burn out the meat bees uh, with his homemade uh, firestorm, was that he set up some sort of filming device so that we could at least watch along. For oh, awesome. the next attempt, so uh, I got I don't know what I got. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's just it's all like, we ended up getting was a test that a text from Andy later that said two misfires. Yeah, so I got that's as far as Chad uh, and uh, Shaley and I know about this story. I tried I tried I was spraying on the roof, uh, paint spraying, and there's some wasp. They're no, separate. No, no, hold on, hold on. You're painting because you're painting your house. Yeah. This isn't yeah. A, a home remedy to get rid of <laughs> hornets and bees. Painting no, no. the wasps. Yeah. The problem is that the yellow jackets were yellow and they needed to be a new color. Yes. I don't really the like yellow the yellow ones are jackets. dangerous. <laughs> I don't like them, but I got up on the house and I painted yellow jackets matter. And, uh, <laughs> And I'm hoping that maybe they'll leave me alone now. <laughs> so, but uh, as good so as last, any other plan you've had so far. See, I, I mean, you know, one, I'm if I could, would have filmed last night, it would have been interesting because I was I was doing some recon and I put on a ninja mask and goggles and all that that you do, and uh, that's when I got stung because I was like doing too much recon, like getting too inside. <laughs> you forgot and, gloves. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot the fucking gloves, and, uh, and I jabbed a, a, a fence stake down there. That says like, maybe I got him. Maybe I got him, and I jabbed that thing down, and I my hand got stung, and I run out uh, of the. Sh I jumped up and ran through these shrubs, and I'm yanking off the mask and swearing like you, you know, fuck, and, and uh, you know, I stripped as I ran, just like I, when I ran to the clinic as a kid. But uh, so last last night was the first night my. My neighbor moved in with his girlfriend. He's been living there, and uh, but he it's the first night they officially, the two of them, own the, uh, the house together. Like, uh, huh? they had three roommates. They all moved. So they were out toasting, having so a So you know these people already. These are these people that yeah. have been around the neighborhood for well, a while. They're not his, new. Yeah, he, he was renting to three friends and then living with his girlfriend. Uh, now like, they're, yeah, now like, they're, a, like a college roommate thing or... Just yeah. after college. Yeah, so they're watching the sunset last night and uh, having a glass of wine. They're 
and I come tearing out with a ninja mask, and I didn't know they were going to be out there, one, and uh, fucking, you know, it hurts, so I don't, you know, I mean, I, if I would have saw him, I would have, you know, before that, I would have said, hey, how's it going, I, I gotta go in, I've been stung, <laughs> <laughs> couldn't leave well enough alone, and uh uh, it fucking hurts so. though. And then my, I woke up this morning and I looked at my hand and I felt like I was. I thought I was like Sean <laughs> Rouse. It? How did Sean Rouse get in my? Wait, that's Sean Rouse's left hand I have here. It's a. Uh, uh-huh. Oh wow. My yeah. neck. Fuck. My, this is after putting it in a. I was uh, still fucking with him today, but I was icing my hand and making buckets of suds uh, to throw on him, which how, I don't. Know. Did you have gloves on today? How did you do all of this? How did you put the, on a mask? His gloves don't fit now. Well, <laughs> yeah. one of them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you got Johnny Cochran helping you with the fucking B problem. Yeah, I tried Too pulling easy. on. <laughs> but, dude, how is it possible that while you were putting on your mask and your all your B attire, that you, it, it, you never thought, I should have gloves, too? Yeah, no shit. I should have got leather <laughs> gloves because they can sting through shit. I don't know, man. It's just like the yeah, like I said, you repeat mistakes. Like it, this all seems like deja vu ish. Like I've you're gonna need a, a, a whole, up a fuck, you know. You're gonna need a whole beekeeper's outfit. They're That's they're what we un- need sent to you. Someone needs to send to Andy Andrus that PO box, uh, whatever it is. Shaley will put it up. Send him a a, a a beekeeper's outfit. That's the only. There's got to someone's got to have one laying around, right? <laughs> That's then so we can nice. really get down to some business. Actually, uh, either that or a fencing just... outfit, because it looks kind of the same. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I hope someone sends him a kid's Halloween costume. <laughs> a sexy beekeeper? <laughs> yeah, he's trying to fight bees in an ill-fitting costume. The sexy beekeeper is just after you get stung about halfway up the driveway. That's where, I, <laughs> that's where the pants and the shirt come off. Because yeah. <laughs> I get you got to get naked when you're getting stung by bees. It's just policy. Yeah. <laughs> I think it started at Woodstock. <laughs> oh, so your yelling. plan was so your plan was when you were doing the recon, you got up close to him, and then you thought. I should jab a big stick down into this hole where the that'll get rid of them. Yeah, that's a that's a good way to check. On paper, it's a perfect idea. That's like a that's like a a a plumbing and uh, pipe fitting guy who you know checks for his new the gas line he just put in by getting his lighter out and seeing. Well, it's tough to get past that. You know, they the bees are still getting in there. But I'm like, I got to get through that concrete and up past it. I sprayed Flex Seal in there too one night, thinking, all right, Jesus, just gonna, is, this you is know, a, a fucking super fun site for for uh, yeah. for hazardous waste. <laughs> well, one, I figured if that Flex Seal works on sealing them bees in, I call Phil Swift on the phone, yeah. like, hey. Phil, I got another he'll use for that shit. Yeah, he'll you be know? happy to hear that, dude. You'll yeah. be in the commercial. Yeah, dock that boat with the screen door on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting into the bug hunting business. <laughs> like, uh, like Mr. Pillow is repurposed to solve the uh, fucking pandemic. Phil uh-huh. Swift and me can take on Yellow Jackets. That's like, it. Seal them in. Nothing <laughs> penetrates it. <laughs> <laughs> but that didn't work, man. It didn't work at no. all. The beat. Oh, so the, so I should so, cancel my uh, my uh, no. conversation with uh, Phil Swift. Yeah. So right now, yeah. Well, right now there's no proof. It's like that uh, that drug that uh, Trump was touting. There's no proof it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so Flex Seal is the hydroxychloroquine well, of yeah. uh, bee fighting. Wait a minute, you tried it and it didn't <laughs> work. Extraction. That's proof that it doesn't work. I mean. Well, <laughs> It's anecdotal proof, granted, yes. but it's fucking proof. It's evidence. Without a double-blind control study, Chad, we can't be sure that it didn't work. Even no, right? though anecdotal I'm, is more than anything else I'm that, that done for shit. COVID. I'm literally <laughs> swollen with proof that my plan didn't work. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> excellent. I mean, look at my hand. Yeah. <laughs> one, one of one. Uh, one of one, one proves. When it happened, I was like, "Ah, oh, shit. Now what? Because I was going to, you know, I still have painting to do. And then I was like, oh, it's my left hand. I don't really need that. And I was like, you know, fuck it. You know, I really don't. It's like, I'm just walking around. It's like it's asleep. It, 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 it bothers him. It hurts when I bump it. It's just like dead. 
<laughs> the only way the only reason i can bend it is i've been putting it in an ice bucket all day putting it down there then in the meantime i'm making buckets of suds uh, so what i did is like you know i'm I, this morning after i got stung i went out there and i lit them up with a, a couple of cans of the spray shit and and that didn't do anything so they're they're back at it. So then I got that I got that all uh, white. It's okay to be white uh, banner, and I've draped yeah. that over their entryway. And uh, so I'm just trying to like bum them out, like they can't get into their place. Wait, wait, the the the, the, the hornets have a foyer? Well, it's like <laughs> it's more of a vestibule. They do, and they <laughs> provided them with shade. You know? It's yeah. where they hang their jackets <laughs> and their uh, umbrellas. Yeah. It's a mud room, really. Yeah, a yeah, mud be uh, room for the mud daubers. <laughs> so, oh my God. I'm blocking them, and then while I'm icing my hand, it's like I don't know, man. I I heard soap suds bothers them or kills them, and they can't fly, and then they just give up hope. Never it's heard like that. it's like a uh, a string of bad road gigs. Like fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> 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 and he makes it to first show Friday, and he just yeah, points yeah. out. No, so I, no. takes oh, one look back. at the crowd. I'm out of here. Yeah. Soapy yeah. water. Fuck you. No way, dude. He yeah, throws I've soap been... suds on the on the crowd. I've it doesn't work. Before, so he yeah. says, "I'm out of here." So I'm ice in my hand, and then I I've, I've been f- I fill in buckets with soap suds. So I go over there, and you don't I ain't using my left hand because it's just uh, out of commission. Right. <laughs> it's just it's just so it's dead. It's a, like it's like a Putin. Ooh. Like yeah, his right you, arm does not well, swing you, when he walks. I don't want really? to get ahead of the story, but how the fuck do you dump a bucket with one hand? That's the hard part. <laughs> is I had, to, I had to put it up on, and then I carried it over on my shoulder, and then uh, I would, and then I got, I could have got, you know, I had to get closer than I wanted. I missed with several buckets. And I don't know that it did anything. There's still hundreds of them going, man, is this entryway going to open back up? What is going on? <laughs> How I heard far they're giving away... $500 to everybody in line. <laughs> 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 oh, man. God, I love you, man. And I thought somebody said something about playing like Com- Comedy Central, but I thought like maybe if I just played some music no, i think that was a uh, hack oddity who suggested <laughs> who suggested maybe they you expose them to your special right as a as a torture device i'm seriously. pretty sure <laughs> like i don't at, know if i can this, get my cable out that far at this point anything you know i was spraying hot uh i got a, a sprayer with soap on the bottom and hot water and blasting uh-huh. them and it's a lot hey, of fun Andy. but i don't know that it kills them Andy, I just I just Google searched how to get rid of yellow jackets. Have you tried any of these nests, the uh, traps that they have on Amazon? That's the very first thing that came well, up for me when I Googled it. I know yeah, you're trying to make it. Sound you, don't, fun. you don't want to make that it does. easy. Traps is like, traps is imagine like, oh. if there was a trap that you could just set yeah. out there and leave them alone. Well, well yeah, I if got... you want to go big corporate, Chad, but yeah, he's going more that. that hints with Heloise way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Traps are like survivalist. Over, yeah, traps are like pulling over a few hippies on their way to the concert. What I want to do is I want to <laughs> shut the whole fucking show down. I don't want there to ever be. I want it to be like that Vegas property where they don't ever have another concert there again, ever. <laughs> sure, you can pull over a couple of these cars, and yeah, you're gonna make a nice drug bust and ruin a couple of kids' nights, yeah. but. Mate- Metallica is still coming back to the yeah, venue yeah. next onesie, year. Onesie twosies doesn't work. You're just kicking the can down the road. You got to fucking nip this thing. Yeah, at this point, I can't stop <laughs> until I all. <laughs> <laughs> they may take my left hand out of commission, but that still gives me my right hand and most of my brain <laughs> to pursue. You're going to be like uh, the uh, the knight in uh, the Monty Python movie, you know, that gets his arms and legs <laughs> cut off. You're, next week you're gonna come on with a, a second swollen, giant swollen hand, and you're gonna be like, "Well, they're both dead now, so it's mostly just my face I use." <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I got them out of my face. That's, a... <laughs> but the hands, you're right. I mean, it was like you know, as I as I run back to the house, it's like, God, yeah, gloves, man, gloves. That's like, <laughs> believe me, I was. <laughs> yeah. uh, but at least I know they're up there and there to the left. If I do, yeah. 
if I go up and to the left, but it's a, I can't get down there to spray that angle. But I if you to... had a longer uh, added a section of garden hose, that you, you get the hose all the way to the entrance, and then you just start shoving the hose down into the hole and just fucking flood them out of everything that's under there. Yeah, I, at this point, I'm just mixing them like a, a like a Long Island iced tea of chemicals. <laughs> I know that. But what I'm saying, you know, you could... I love that he would throw the hose down into the fucking <laughs> cement hole, and then all of a sudden it activates all the soapy water. So then all of a sudden it's a big foam party. Yeah, and then, and and, <laughs> and then me, Andy, Andy brought his fucking speaker down to us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of having a kick-ass party for him, and I want him to leave. <laughs> like, oh, uh, who, no, 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 don't bring any more cocaine. I'm, I'm, te- I'm shutting it down, yo. <laughs> Kegs are dust, dude. Yeah. I guess it's oh, yeah, it's like Ericsson in uh, Amsterdam. It's just the party never ends. Gotta keep going, dude. You're only going to be in Amsterdam the once, probably. Yeah, man. Yeah, well, they kicked me out of the place. So. <laughs> kicked us all out. Said, Don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I should make a list of places I was asked never to return to. <laughs> the shorter yeah. list would be the ones you're allowed at. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fact. Oh, uh, cheers to you. Hey, cheers. Uh, I'm drinking uh, gin- ginger ale and tequila. Not Ooh, bad nice. if, if, you, if oh. you get used to it. I have that's I have one of the most delicious Bloody Marys yet that, that the lovely Carrie Mitchell made for me oh, in exchange for me taking the dog out uh, to go poop. For so, 13 uh, years? Quit yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it finally paid off. But uh, it's delicious, and I've got a We're nice, even. Like, <laughs> even a chili lime rim. She really went all uh-huh. like I, I, speaking of I feel like I'm at Applebee's. We talk about it, but it's like I'm at a TGI Fridays right now. Yeah. Well, delicious. that's what this podcast is, is we're holding court. We got the two, the four corner stools at a Chili's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we let the salesman from Des Moines just, listen in. Yeah. We're a couple of just uh, some straight old bros hanging out, pounding some beers on a Friday. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Sitting in front of the sip and go. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was go at in. one. Of, I was at one of those, either Applebee's or Chili's. I can't remember. Uh, it was on the road with Doug, and uh, uh, Doug Shit. just went to the room and probably ordered Domino's. And I just, I <laughs> want to not be in the hotel room for just a little bit, right? And I, I go over to this place, and it was <clears> so <throat> fucking bad. It was. I ordered a steak because I go. Oh, I'm getting a steak. You know, like <laughs> Applebee's or Chili's. I mean, how high am I setting the bar? It was <laughs> fucking so horrible. I was in the in middle of the meal and I called Chase. I go. I'm never going to one of these places again. This is so mediocre. And then below that, that <laughs> you should just go go eat top ramen or cup of noodles because you're just. This is a constant fucking. Uh, hey, <laughs> I ordered like there were supposed to be fries and you know. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's a epic mediocrity. And, uh, <laughs> I, haven't ste- I haven't stepped into one since. <laughs> Man, it's been yeah. a while since we've had another good name for the podcast. Yeah, or yeah. Float into the conversation, <laughs> but bang, <laughs> epic <laughs> mediocrity it is. I would think if you were a waitress at one of those places, it'd be like being a you know a comic at a club that doesn't really like you. Like you would go through all the comment cards. Get rid of all the negative ones. Like they, all those places that, like he's talking about, Cheesecake yeah. Factory, Applebee's, all, yeah. all of them, they're forgettable, but they all have comment cards and you can rate your experience and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, well, they, I wonder if they do, they leave a big block like they do at, at comedy clubs, uh, an open <laughs> section, you know, general yeah. complaints, uh, general <laughs> thoughts on the presentation you saw what, this evening. Yeah. What? What entree would you like to see on the menu here at Chili's? Yeah, talk, edible. About, <laughs> talk about what bothers you. <laughs> I always loved on the comment cards at the comedy club, you know, they'd always ask what acts you wanted to see. And then people would always answer with acts well like, out of man, the range. Like so far, <laughs> like, like in the stratosphere. Yeah. Of like, Chris how Rock? can you never get Bill oh, you Burr want, hit the chuckle want, hut? Yeah, you want Chris Rock at the Sioux Falls uh, Funny Bone, really? 78 seats if we take yeah. all the chairs out of the green room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you really here wanna, next week. Do you really want to see that act uh, under those circumstances? Like, you know, they, they got fucking movies and everything, and then the bottom falls out and yeah, accepting yeah. work at Sioux Falls. Yeah. You're going to go in there and go, 
fuck you people. God, yeah. you know, it's not going to oh, be the yeah, show you want. Uh, you know? That's going to um, be the sh- That's uh, uh, Bobcat Goldthwait. I was just going to say it's exactly And then exactly the other guy from saying. News Radio. Uh, Dave Foley. Dave Foley. <laughs> they had to go back out to make money because of a debilitating fucking divorce settlement. And they talked about it on stage. Yeah. And, and that was the thing. It's like, yeah, a little rough. I, back there. I absolutely almost got Dave Foley killed in Peoria, Illinois. And it was 100% my fault. We, he did the show. We were going downtown to Kerry Mitchell's bar and he wanted to run to his hotel first which he was staying at a different hotel than they normally do. So I took him to his hotel, which was kind of down on the river. And uh, I, we, we, he went in. I sat in the lobby. He changed. I don't remember what he had to do. Make some, do, do something. But anyway, he changed. He came back down. We came back out and uh, hopped in the car, pulled out of the uh, parking lot of the hotel, and turned right to go to uh, Mitchell's Irish Pub. And uh, as I turned right, There is a car fucking heading straight for us in our lane, across into our, on our side. Into your lane. Absolutely. Going to head on fucking crash into us. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I swerve and it swerves. And I'm like, holy shit, that, what the fucking drunk drivers? And we get to the next road and I turn right and we're kind of like out of breath and kind of like laughing that sort of, we just almost died sort of kind of chuckle and we're like and i'm halfway to uh to mitchell's bar and i'm like we're still just ripping on this dude for being on the you know our side of the fucking <coughs> highway when i remember oh yeah adam street is actually a one-way street One way! <laughs> whoa now i remember there's a reason that guy was in that lane and uh, i definitely <laughs> almost got us fucking completely killed Wow! And, uh, yeah, planes, so, planes, trains, and automobiles, I, or go I on the wrong solved, way. I almost solved Dave Foley's alimony problem yeah. for the that final solution. Well, now I'm thinking about Bobcat because I uh, it did, was this a divorce from that uh, the actress that uh, yeah I spent yeah. New Year's Eve with. That yes. wasn't yeah. So yeah, man, she wasn't she she wasn't at all faithful. Like no. you know, I mean. <laughs> I don't, no, I don't know the timeline, Andy. Hard. I just know of uh, when I was yeah. trying to book acts up to Anchorage, uh, the the agent and the, the, the comics I was going through was like, oh, yeah, he'll do it. He needs yeah. the money. And then they gave me the little backstory. Here's the deal with her, too, is like, you know, I mean, she in, he instigated that we we had a kiss or two uh, at New Year's. Uh, New Year's and, but you don't do that. You don't – if you're a girlfriend of a headliner – and you're at a comedy club. You don't work your way down the lineup. No. There's really almost no shame you could bring upon the headliner yeah, greater yeah, yeah. than, than uh, I mean, even the MC might be like, a, you know, a young, good-looking kid who's just MCing because he's up and coming and he's only, you know, 23 or 24 years old, but he's got a fucking rocking body. If it's, if it's a feature, that's the, that's the worst that's the yeah. worst spot. It's hor- I was horrified <laughs> for all everybody involved with yeah. it. You know, yeah. like it's just <laughs> sickening. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, he, he he had her come to watch my show because he he said, "Oh yeah, well, you got to watch this guy. He reminds me of Norm Macdonald." And then and then she, she like does that. Like, come on, <laughs> you know, have some etiquette. Uh, <laughs> well, Andy, you, you're you're a participant here. You could have exactly. said something as well. You yeah. could have gone, well, you know, well, this is probably well, inappropriate because uh, well, he's on stage right now and uh, I'm opening for him. And uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, when I got my tongue back, I, I, you know, <laughs> I said, I gave, gave her a lashing. Yeah. I, I said, oh, so you're in an open marriage? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> That's not anywhere close to what I think you should have said. Uh, That's a good one. That's a that's a starter, a starter uh, opener conversation. I mean, maybe that is the case. (laughs) Yeah. Why was she doing that to Bobcat? You know. I I will say this: that knowing both Bobcat and Dave Foley just a little bit through those very gigs that you're talking about, because they both came through Peoria. 
a couple <laughs> times. Bobcat came through a bunch of times for the because of the very reason you were talking about, Shaley. That they both are are super nice guys, like kind to everyone, kind to the staff, generous. Like they weren't the bitter pieces of shit you'd expect them to be. be it, having to trace <clears throat> to Peoria and then to Lansing and then to Toledo, and then on to Youngstown. It's like, Jesus Christ, how have you not put one in your own head? But they're all fucking, they're sweethearts. Yeah, no, Bobcat was great. He's the nicest, nicest, Dave Foley quietest too. little Foley fella. Nice guy. Uh-huh, you expect Bobcat to be, you know, like back in the day, the long hair yeah. and the yelling and the police <laughs> academy guy, and you get just this, hey, sweet little man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> So I have a, a fan club on the Facebook. Did you see that? Ah, uh, that's it. Yes. Uh, there's yeah, a new, uh, what's going that? on? I have no idea what's going on. So on Facebook, there's a kid who uh, started a uh, private uh, Facebook uh, group, the Andy Andrist fan page, and uh, invited uh, me and Chad. Probably you too, Shaley. You're probably not nope. on Facebook. Not me. Some people don't know how to spell your name because I, I constantly have to try to remind I don't want to be on it. That's well, all right. It, yeah, you don't want to be on it, Shaley. The best part I, about it is it's 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 labeled the uh, Andy Andrus fan club, parentheses, unofficial. And unofficial is misspelled. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about and right. I was going to tell the kid and then I, I thought, why would I do that? That's... That is so fucking on the nose for the Andy Andrus yeah. fan page. Yeah. That yeah. That's got I I, maybe I, he did it on purpose and he's probably. a goddamn genius. Could be, could be. <laughs> I hate to disparage the newly formed Andy Andrus <clears throat> fan page, but much like all of the Doug Stanhope fan page groups that I've been invited to, yep. I had to leave almost immediately. I checked it out and it was great. There was uh, stories of, from people who had met Andy on the road, there was Andy Andrus quotes, and I was like, ah, this is fucking going to be fun. And then right away <laughs> come the fucking unfunny memes. I was oh, like, yeah. you son of a bitches, you ruined me. You had me and you fucking lost me. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, we're trying to keep incels out. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all it is, Andy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of them are on Doug's, and then they bounce in, and they're like, hey, uh, let's see if we can. <laughs> no, the, I, I actually chatted with one of the guys that, that did it on the Messenger. That's very, it's very cool. Yeah, to have an Andy Andrews fucking Hell yeah, fan. Yeah, man. Well, and I don't even, you know, like me and Brett have talked about this, like you know, Mish, how Mishka embraces the word fan, and I got some of the greatest fans in the world. They send me <laughs> pictures of my dead kitty, and. Uh, <laughs> and and it makes me just uh, swell up with appreciation, yeah. and I got to take my shirt off and send them pictures, you know. But uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, it's uh, it's unofficial. No, it's nice. I, I officially nice. have unofficial fans, and it officially feels awkward. Uh, it's the, it, cool. means we're, it, it means we're doing we're doing <clears throat> the Lord's work here on the Issues with Andy <laughs> podcast because I feel like this is really what's look what it's already happening. These these. Yeah. these these beautiful young children of the podcast are now out there spreading their wings and and, and sharing the the Andy with the world. I don't know, I don't know about the getting, plan was. I don't know about getting a big head, but I have gotten a swollen hand since I saw that <laughs> page. <laughs> it, it ain't literally, literally, literally swelling with pride. No, I don't know. It's some sort of bee juice. Yeah. <laughs> And like, you know, they can do a lot of damage, like three bee stings. That's could be enough yeah. to kill. That could, you know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it'll kill me. Well, well they're meat bees. So yeah. they don't, they're, they're just, yeah. You know, <laughs> well, they're different. Kill. Really? I think, no, I think if I have a, I don't, yeah, anyway. Yeah, if you're enough, allergic, yeah, if you're allergic, it can get you. But they don't have barbed things that kill the bees like a bee does. They can just the sting you sting, multiple yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. they're. And here's the These thing. Are ground hornets too. I was going to tell you too. If you, if you, if you get you like a ball of hamburger and throw it right next to it, they'll <laughs> fucking cover it and then just spray them with that wasp foam and keep doing that until you're that's fucking it. done. And have oh, a hamburger man. at the end of the day. Well, yeah. that's right. Yeah, Celine. Yeah. Well, feed it to yeah. the dog. Yeah, it'll be it, it, a, a hamburger infused with the juice of these uh, 
bees, that could be something people in Oregon are interested in checking out. Yeah, talk so, about bee stung bee lips. Yeah, bee infused meat. And here's the thing I've kind of considered is uh, I don't even know if I need to be fucking with these guys. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, they're an annoyance around here, but I, if I'm not outside painting, I don't really have interactions with them. They're like, yeah. you know, they're like fuckheads who live down the street if I just let them be. Yeah. But instead, I'm like, oh, look at those assholes out in my driveway. <laughs> I can't have this. Uh, yeah, if you just work different hours, you'd never see them at the end of your street. Well, I do. Yeah. I get up before they're up and yeah. try to greet them with a face full of foam and some <laughs> shit, you know. Uh, I, uh, you know, if I don't get a smoke bomb or some explosives, I don't really see where I can go with this. Uh, I can't, you know. <laughs> I'd love to see you roll an M80 down into that hole. And when it explodes, it just explodes just a firestorm of, of, of bees and fucking hornets Foam. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I like I, to. The, the, hole is not, the hole is like your pinky could go in it, right? It's not like this massive, I don't know. like it's like it's up under cavern. railroad ties at an angle. They come down, and it's like watching planes coming into LAX back in the day, not during the pandemic before, uh, <laughs> before all that. Just one after another. It's like fucking thousands of bees, and they all go down, and then they go at, at an angle that I can't get to. That's why I jam the pole up there, figuring maybe I send this pole up there, asshole, and then they come. You know, I didn't know they, <laughs> you know, go right up that pole and sting the first meat object. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I had that raw hamburger, and it was at the end of that. <laughs> the, at the that end of your arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, I think God. you need traps, Andy. Get some traps. Well, I got they, traps. And they're, they're inexpensive. You know, they, I got they traps, but it's no like, fun. You know, yeah, I like Fire, one. Blood. one of my favorite things because I don't like the species at all. And then I, I put in, I got one that's a water, big glass one, and they go up and then they go fall into the water. And the water, I put uh, food coloring in it so it's nice and blue. And then I watch them and then they struggle and then they fall in it and then they try to hang on and bounce off of each other and rip at each other and then they eventually drown. And I'll, I'll sit and watch that all day, but it ain't <laughs> getting rid of it ain't getting rid well, of you, most of them. Andy, why well, blue, you need blue to... coloring? Because uh, it's just kind of soothing. It's like having an aquarium. <laughs> for you. For you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for uh, them. It has nothing to do with the yellow jacket. <laughs> yeah. but, Andy, maybe up your, your plan and maybe get like a, a five-gallon bucket with a piece of a uh, uh, flank steak run through a wire in the middle of it Ooh, and then yeah, some yeah, water yeah. that they can fall, you know, like it, make a bigger uh, impact on what you're yeah. doing. Yeah. Take what's uh, working and expand on that. I wish Remember I remember yeah. their meat bees. And I and they don't you know, they don't care about blue water. And I'm not, I couldn't steal a car, but ideally, here's what I would do if I if you know rules if I didn't have to worry about it is is steal a car and then and then smash through that thing and then light the car on fire and then report you know <laughs> report it let the city city Wait, take care of it. Why would you report that you stole a car? No, I wouldn't report it. I'd say somebody just, you know, a drunk driver just smashed through a thing oh. here and there. Now there's a fire going that way. <laughs> everything, blow, that whole corner blows up and I don't have to clean anything up. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. just a concerned citizen who made a phone call. Uh, <laughs> unfortunate victim. Next, next to a, a roaring fire on Dead Man's Solid Garden. plan. That only went out there without a ride. Yeah, that absolutely <laughs> does seem better than buying a trap on Amazon that you put over the hole yes. and walking away and walking yeah. away. What would Michael Bay do? Bigger. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. I'm, I'm with you hundred percent. My friend, the Oregon bee fire has claimed another hundred <laughs> acres. today. <laughs> In an ironic twist, the bees are said to enjoy the fires as it burns away much of the brush and kindling that helps keep them away from the pollen they so desperately crave. And their numbers are thriving. Yeah, I might just let them, you know, I might just let them alone. (laughs) Well, if nothing else, you'll be lulling them into a false sense of security. So I 
Yeah. Oh man, they got to be like on edge. They got to be like a, a little <laughs> pa- Palestinian I, village right by the border. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree. <laughs> I'm gonna say if you quit at this point, they're probably gonna try to move into your house. They're gonna yeah. be like, he's retreated. Let's yeah. just go. He, was the he time. threw everything he had at us. Yeah, let's move you in. Get some respect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah well, try to rent your Airbnb from you. I, yeah, somebody <laughs> did rent that fucker too. I'm gonna have to move it out of my place into my place. Oh, man. oh no. Uh, yeah. Pitch a tent out back where you are right now. It's pretty nice out there. Yeah. Our yeah. guy's got a really good sale going on right now, Andy. Yeah. Would, well, this is you this love is like an Airbnb. You went to your Airbnb, Erickson, and Andy was sleeping in a tent right outside your front door. <laughs> Wouldn't that be totally great? Worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Morning he just, with his coffee. You, you oh, hear him How's at, it going? At various yeah. points of the night, you hear him yelping in pain from the bee stings as he, yeah. as he runs screaming naked across the yard. <laughs> <laughs> naked whacking bees with, with a one tennis hand. racket when you wake up you're, you're describing how up? like that's how every single uh like uh, well almost every other dude in florida lives <laughs> behind a house in a trailer i can Cato yeah. Cato. oregon man yeah oregon man be florida man yeah <laughs> look at this hand man <laughs> this, this is the one Andy, this are you one taking anything fixed. for the swelling naps <laughs> oh, yeah, I, took, I took a couple of Benadryl. Benadryl, uh, you should take two Benadryl every four hours until. Uh, that, yeah, yeah. That, hopefully that'll Benadryl's help. Good. Bring it down. Naproxen, if you got Naproxen. What's that? Uh, it's an anti-inflammatory that a lot of people usually will have bottles of. Is there anything you can snort? <laughs> Knock yeah. it out immediately. I mean, you can snort everything. You can snort a Benadryl. You can snort ants. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, right? yeah. You can snort one of those bees if you want. Yeah, to. think about that as a power move. They will not fuck with yeah. you if you get in there and snort a bunch of them up. Yeah. It is kind of uh, like last, you know, after you get stung, the pain and all that. I got rid of the, the sting feeling and everything, but it does kind of give you a bit of a buzz. <laughs> like if you could, if you could just get like eight, eight or ten yellow jackets, uh, and then inject it all in one spot, so your whole body, you know, you know, I uh, want one entry. So I yeah, so what you need to do is you need to trap them into some sort of like little container that you could carry around, and whenever you want that buzz, you just get your your eight yellow jackets out, and then just yeah. uh, slap it the- on like a like a nicotine patch. Yeah, and then they sting yeah. you a bunch of times. Wouldn't that be the shit if you, you know, what cures coronavirus is you, you just put on a fucking, uh, uh, like a jug on your head full of bees. <laughs> stung, so it swells up and that, that'll the cure COVID you. can't get in? Uh, the, the, pus, the pus goes all fucking, fills your fucking head instead yeah. of goes down your Yeah, Trump isn't too far <laughs> from suggesting that, so. It well, could be. Mis- you gotta prove it's wrong first. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll get a, a build up a, a tolerance to his bee stings pretty soon. He's letting bee sting his nutsack so he can get some <laughs> yeah. eye again. Yeah. yeah. I just want to feel like that first time, man. Chasing I don't like the dragon, man. Chasing the dragon. <laughs> the thing about yellow jackets is there, I don't, what do you call that? A, a nurse that does the shots? Phlebotomist? Some sure. shit like uh, that. Phlebotomist. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, phlebotomist is uh, a blood drop. They take blood and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Blood. And when I don't like getting needles, I'm a, I'm a real pussy when it comes to needles. Uh, it goes way back to middle or grade school when I flopped around and wouldn't let them inject me. But uh, uh, I hate needles, so I always ask who's really good at it because I don't like, you know, I just fucking, I don't want your stabby nurse or whatever. But that's what <laughs> yeah. the, the bees do is they get you and you don't even know, you know, like a nurse will say, okay, it's just going to be a little, and then they give it to you yeah. and you go, oh, okay. The bees, they just go, oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. I mean, Not even a hello. Had a gentler How's your father? Touch, Andy? Yeah. Oh well. They're yeah. They get you by yeah, surprise. They, where, yeah, yeah. They don't warn you at all. Uh huh. That's what I'm. And usually that's the big thing with a needle. I get all worked up. I saw my dad do it too. I think cowardice runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> Did your dad have to get da- daily shots? For yeah. He diabetes? he had he had a lot of shots and stuff. And he hated needles. He hated needles before he started having problems. And God's like, yeah. You know what? He reads his Bible. He tries to live a good life. He judges Larry. Uh, I'm going to give him a fucking thing where he's a, now he's diabetic. And he, yeah, he had a, a lot of shots. 
And he never liked, he never got to where he liked him. And he was always a, a big fucking pussy about it. And when I'm sitting in one of them rooms, kind of laugh crying in anticipation <laughs> of the shot, I think, God damn, my dad taught me to be a fucking coward. It's the only, like, the only thing you learned from your dad? Yeah. The cowardice? Yeah. <laughs> Making fun of neighbors? <laughs> Making fun of yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, no, I That's learned a lot. Dow- dousing people. Uh, yeah. Being critical, uh, complaining and never getting anything done about it. <laughs> oh God! Happy damn. Father's Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it a very special? Oh, sure, why not? It sounded like a Father's Day card yeah. to me. Uh-huh. You know, uh, thanks for all the things you taught me, Dad. <laughs> you just have a list. Yeah. Yeah. I taught her not to mess with bees. Leave them, yeah. leave them be. That's what I'm going to get a shirt that says "Leave them be," and I'm going to try to live, <laughs> live that. I'll, I'll preach to everybody else make, about leave, leave those bees alone, and then I'll fuck with them. Make, I'll be like a preacher. Make sure you have yeah. a picture of a yellow jacket on it, so it continues yeah, to confuse, so, everybody. confuse everyone, so, so people can but, constantly be correcting you. I, I was over at Joby's last night, and there was a few bees. He, he put up some uh, uh, hummingbird feeders, like four of them, and there was like fucking. 50 hummingbirds yeah. buzzing in and out of there. But there was also a few uh, wasps, the long-bodied ones, and then there was some bees that were around. And while we were sitting on the porch, uh, somebody was like, you know, oh, there's a bee just landed on your hand. And I was like, no, I don't mind bees. They're gentle, you know, as long as you don't fuck with them and smash them. And I let him walk all over me, and he was fine, you know, checking stuff out. Bees are gentle. I've always yeah. found Meat bees, the fucking ones you're dealing with, are aggressive <laughs> and will fuck you up. <laughs> so please get I li- traps. I like that it seems like when Andy's down here on the podcast talking about him, they attack him. Like they One can hit- tell he's talking shit. And they're like, there's that motherfucker goes again. Oh, like, he will not man. learn. Let's go get him. A, Look at yeah. this motherfucker. <laughs> he's established himself shit. as an enemy. I sure. bet you that's the cement guy. I yeah. bet you that's if he the calls us guy. bees again, if he calls us bees again, we're going to get him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's one right over here as we speak. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I, well, my theory is, is the ones they pump you with the shit, then they can sense that. Like, there's, like I'm a victim. It's like being yeah. a victim of sex abuse other uh abusers go <laughs> yeah. come here boy you smell you know no. you smell like you know hey you're the you crazy the girl at the bar with the daddy issues yeah you with the boy scout outfit <laughs> come here <laughs> want to earn a badge i'm the i'm the oh. coach of us uh, no, oh, yeah. <laughs> rip on lou holtz for uh, uh-huh. but, uh he's not a okay. pedophile he's just an asshole yeah holtz yeah but, what a fucking scumbag. Anyway, that's not political. All just, college uh, football coaches are scumbags. Yeah. I'm gonna stand I'm gonna I'm gonna make a blanket statement and stand by it. Not, not Chip one, Kelly. Not, not one. one. Not no. Chip Kelly. He was cool. Scumbag. Chip, Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly is a douchebag. Uh, <laughs> although he liked my dog. I, I he he asked me about what? my dog and he was I ran into him one time when he was in town with my dog and my dog was off leash like I do, but she's and uh, she ran up to Chip Kelly and I was like bracing for a fucking, you know, a coach Wait, did speak. You say Chip Kelly or Jim yeah. Kelly? Chip, Chip Kelly, Kelly is used to be the coach of the Oregon Ducks and then oh, he okay. went to the NFL. Yeah. So my personal experience is uh, he was nice to my dog. Oh, that's so. a good thing. That's a good trait <laughs> hey. in people. But yeah. most college football coaches are scumbags. The Urban if, Myers, the fucking Dabo Sweeney's, and the Nick Saban. Yeah. They're all if fucking you, douches. A lot yeah. of times, if you exploit uh, uh, young, uh, vulnerable uh, uh, dudes that just are trying to make a life for themselves through sports, you're usually not a douchebag yeah. if you like dogs. That's right. how it works. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. Well, I'm sure he sucks. <laughs> we all suck. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. People so, suck. People suck, and then you go, "Wait, I'm one of them." Yeah. Or then you know, go. That's I, the first I, I step. Hate, I hate people. You know why? Because you hate yourself, and you're one of them. Yep. <laughs> I'm a self-loathing people. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Happy That's 80th a- episode, fellas. Yeah. Oh, it's just 80? number 80. 80. Oh. We're uh, we're almost old enough to die of COVID. Well, 
And if, uh, yeah, if I got to get up on that high ladder and have fucking uh, wasp up around my head, I may not make it to 81, but I, I think I'm done. I'm not, I, I feel like I'm not getting on that ladder anymore. Did you get the painting part of it done? Have you I got, I got, your house? I got one corner that's high up. I can't even get a ladder to. Uh, mm-hmm. So I might, I'm going to get scaffolding and then just do it safe. Like I, yeah. I might be done with risking my life on these projects. Yeah, I you leave, know, scaffolding I leave is the, the way to go. Alone and then just do that corner. I'm done. But Andy, Andy yeah. you are going to assemble scaffolding at your house? I used to do it. I was a scaffold builder. Well, I know, but how long did that last? Well, I, I, mean, I got fired on the second day when the scaffold no, I got, fell on all the yeah. people. <laughs> I got fired. I got fired after a few months. I actually was. I was like, I, I was okay at it, and uh, you know, I, it's easy. It's like Legos. I I can't build anything, but I could put scaffolding did, together. Did right. you steal a lot of scaffolding from that job, or do you just <laughs> yeah, have scaffolding exactly. laying around the house that you're oh, going to? No, I'm going to uh, rent it. Oh, uh, you know what you should do is rent an exterminator. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I could get a couple of guys from Home Depot and go, here, I just need you to spray for bees. Uh, oh, that, you could definitely film that, Andy. That would be fucking hilarious. Yeah, but our Home Depot doesn't have anybody there. It's just be, uh, just be other do-it-yourselfers. Go, hey, come on. No, you come with me, man. <laughs> okay. Maybe we could do that. Maybe we could have some sort of uh, contest from the podcast where somebody could win. The big prize will be you, you get to be sent into the front lines of the Andy Andrus B Wars. Yeah. And, you know, you can travel to Eugene on your own dime and then. What a prize. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it includes well, it's be the flooded un- with fucking questions. Unofficial prize. One app. You, 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 you can get share one the crushed, Airbnb with Andy. You yeah. get two crushed Benadryl lines. <laughs> per that's per sting. Per sting. That's not a yeah, bad so deal. If you get lit up like eight, ten times, that's a pretty you good buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Once again with the fucking <laughs> you, you mix that venom with the B drill. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. That's kind of like uh <laughs> that's like the mixing a cough syrup with uh yeah. the yeah, cr- the, the sizzo, what do they call it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, scissor. get some <laughs> the scissor. scissor. Yeah, scissor. <laughs> I haven't really. That's I've the whitest thing you've remember. ever said. I, dude, come on, man. Sizzle. <laughs> I would totally drink that shit. It's just like I, it's, I've never been in a circle that's had that. Right. And, and maybe it's because I don't have enough urban friends or whatever. But I would like to try all that shit. You know. I think it's you like, can. I think you can just have to buy some cough medicine and. What else? Just alcohol, I right? Robitussin. Uh, Robitussin. No, 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 no. Is... It's codeine. Codeine. And then you put it yeah. like in a Sprite, and then you throw in like some Jolly Sprite, Ranchers or right. something. Too. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, it up. I had no yeah. idea. I thought it was just a... Yeah. I and know. I might be completely sounds... wrong, but I think that's what it is. That actually sounds pretty decent. Yeah. yeah. yeah, can... yeah. <laughs> uh... They should serve those at IHOP or something. They're not yeah. dropping been... dead because it sucks. Let this me tell you. It's been a long pandemic. I am just about there, my friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll take a couple uh... of scissors, please. Scissorp, uh also it's it's referred to as purple drink. Yeah. yeah. Or lean. Cough syrup. What is it? Lean. Lean. I think I think because it makes you lean. I'm not sure. Oh, 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 st- oh he got like, the lean. Like lean yeah. over. Yeah. Is there a downside? Does it make you uh, like uh, <laughs> lose fat? I I've been it's uh, cough syrup. by it for a while. Oh, here it is. Is the is cough syrup ingredient used to create what is known as lean? It can be sold illegally or attained through a prescription. To create lean, a popular drink created in Houston, te- Texas, yeah. you require the following for the original formula: you promethazine with codeine. That's the scissorp active ingredient. Uh-huh. Uh, some Sprite soda. Uh, although different flavors will work, the regular Sprite well, is what it's, we're talking about. It's the, yeah, it's the Lyman that and, uh, is with the uh, Cody. Oh, and Jolly Rancher candies for yep. a flavor additive. Yep. Damn, Damn, I got right. most of yeah, I, I didn't remember it, it right. Down. Damn. You got it. And you got the lean. 
I, I learned need... that from two rap videos that I watched. <laughs> <laughs> we're citing sources. Round and round? And what's the other one? <laughs> oh, rap, oh, not oh, rap. rap. Okay, I, was say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I knew he didn't mean rat because rat only had one video. So he couldn't have seen two rat videos. Uh, that yeah. is true. I was trying to think of a different rap video <laughs> besides round oh, and round. Dude, round and round, man. Yeah. Uncle Milty. Yeah, that was the one. By the way, I, oh, man? I was thinking that they're, they're, one of their guys just died, but it was actually the Quiet Riot uh, drummer that just died. Uh, yeah, it, oh, yeah. Cheers to uh, Frankie Bena Benali or something like that. I think, I think he's probably. I think, I think he owned the, the name. First, I think he's the first <laughs> rock and roll drummer I saw perform live. Uh, was he nice be, to your dog? He, <laughs> he didn't. He didn't get a chance to meet my dog. Uh, but yeah, he would have been. Man, he Marilyn would've. Manson was cool with my dog, yeah, but uh, 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 but no, I mean that first concert Quiet. it was Quiet Riot, and I think That's they opened good. opened the show. Pretty good first concert. Who was that? Were they headlining? Was, or they that were, was they were uh, uh, Joan Jett, uh, Quiet Riot, and Hagar. Maybe I don't know. Those yeah. uh, there was two big That's concerts. Pretty good I, fucking yeah, lineup, good lineup though, man. Yeah, and then I went to another one that was Journey. Brian Adams. Yeah. I started. Yeah, yeah that was when you, that's when it all started to go south on you. When you yeah. Were yeah chugging epicac syrup so you could throw up on your foreman so that you could get to the Brian Adams concert. Right. I think yeah. that's one of the times, one of the times, obviously not the only time, that a young Andy Andrus took a fork in the road that maybe wasn't yeah, for the best. I uh, followed my hard cock into soft rock and it was the <laughs> wrong mix. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say I followed my hard cock into soft rock? I think so. <laughs> that that quote cool better it. show up on the goddamn Andy <laughs> Andrews Jesus fan Christ. page. That's all I'm saying, you son of Miss, a bitch. Miss Phil. That's fucking great. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. You. Yeah, like, you know, Brian Adams sold it. Like, he was like a fucking rebel. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a rebel too. And they're like, no, I'm a different kind of rebel. I should have fucking followed my heart. And and I got sold on pop rock when I wanted to go down a different path. I wanted to fucking hair band it and shit. Fuck. <laughs> I want my life back. Yeah, right out of do over. Right, all, my whole life got ruined because of some gap tooth, the scar face bat drinking motherfucking Brian Adams. <laughs> <laughs> Soft rock bullshit. I was a you know, I was under the impression that we were rebels and we were gonna go in a rebel direction. And that doesn't uh -huh. include fucking stadiums full of soccer moms, bro. You know, that ain't, that ain't rebel. Yeah. That's no, rebel man. soft. That's rebel soda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it. Hey, uh, I, I do want to say, uh, oh, fuck, I should have. Oh, is that, is that Brian Adams right now? That's, yeah. yeah, right now. yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Who, he looks like, he looks it's like, like uh, no, he looks like um, Ralph Mouth. From uh, Happy Days, Donnie Most after after like you know barely uh, recovering from some sort of super debilitating disease, you know like oh god he's he like made the it. other end of it. Yeah, he doesn't look good, but don't say anything when you see him. You know, just tell yeah. him you're glad to see. Yeah, him. I gotta warn you, we're gonna <laughs> we're going backstage. I got the golden don't, tickets. Yeah, don't <laughs> gasp. You no gasping. Those, you take those glasses off of him and you go, oh, is that a Nazi? <laughs> he looks like a Nazi. Or, yeah, he's yeah. just a fucking frightening looking man, Brian Adams. Yeah. I'd hang out yeah. with him, though, just because he's a fucking uh, vegan. <laughs> we could talk about his vegan causes. <laughs> now, this, how, how fucking, okay, I, I was, I'm fucking, I was lame. I drove to Canada. I was in Seattle and I had nothing to do and I drove to Canada because I was the Brian Adams. I thought, fuck, I'll just go up to Vancouver and hang out. Like, I had no plan. And then when I went through the border, they go, what are you doing? I go, I, I'm just coming up to Canada, man. <laughs> thought maybe I'd go find our cool record store and maybe get some, uh, uh, you know, some hard to find Brian Adams hits. <laughs> <laughs> they probably thought you were making fun of Canadians and they didn't want you uh, doing any, any Canadian mocking in their country. <laughs> yeah. Turns, turns out he, you know, he, he's a good they pop star. Yeah, he's, they love him. Yeah. You know, I got to revisit it when my uh, daughter was little. She got into the Spirit uh, movie, and that was a soundtrack by Brian Adams. And it was all these songs about horses and running free. And my daughter used to run around and want to play horse. Like, uh -huh. no, we're not doing that, man. Yeah. 
No, Brian Adams. <laughs> Brian Adams has done enough damage to this yeah. family. Your, your daughter didn't understand why you had this such hatred for this movie and for these horses. Really, it was all about uh, this uh, fucking uh, pockmarked Canadian that had cr- yeah. wormed its way into your brain. That's a shame. Yep, yep. it cuts like I got to go get a drink. <laughs> hey, hold on. No, oh, well, Andy, hold on. Right. Don't it's already we're, fixed. We're, we're, it's- we're we're wrapping okay. up right now, but I wanted to say, uh, last last podcast we had, I had uh, a notice that uh, a friend a friend of Coots, a friend of ours, uh, passed away, and uh, I don't know if you guys saw this, oh. but if you did, I don't know if Brett, if you met him, you may have, but you were up there a lot of times with Splendid Chaos. It was Pete Edinger, <coughs> the local band, like the local. He put together a band that rocked Coots for like eight years, nine oh, years. Man great guy oh, and he just he hit some bad times and definitely uh yeah uh hit a bad day and uh oh, passed sucks. away but uh sucks. he was a, he was a great guy who really uh pull, oh, fuck i can't i'm trying to pull up the picture of him at coots and it's not working yeah but uh oh, he, he's a great guy who uh friend of all of our friends up there in uh, in uh anchorage and it was, it, it was a oh. real bummer to yeah, hear it about sucks. It. He wasn't a Patreon subscriber, was he? I think he may have been. Yeah, because that could be a real tragedy. Only, only until sure Andy we'll started killing bees for a while. Yeah, make sure you <laughs> update that and pay in advance. You never know when you're yeah. coming up. That's why we coming. need to we need to go to the yearly option with the payment on Patreon. That's so. why I try to, to delineate between bees and hornets. Andy's killing hornets, <laughs> but he's saying bees and like Pete, like that was it for him. He goes, "I'm done. I can't oh, yeah. support can't. these guys. Yeah, they're, they're part of the bee killing." I don't want to live in this world. Why can't the bees be more like Pete? (laughs) 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 Oh, shit. I think you're living in your yard sort of is kind of like the Alaska of bee living. Seems like to me, like there's only a, you know, it takes a special breed. We'll get this shit. One, One of the times I was retreating from the beehive, I uh, stepped into a mole hole, and now I got fucking mole traps that I don't know how to set. Are you fucking kidding me? I got moles, yeah. Yeah, like cancerous God. moles in this my yard. Is so great. Well, you know what? Then you are allowed to leave the bees alone because we can start hitting this mole story every week, and that's just as good. Well, we can always return to the bees. Yeah, they'll oh, still yeah. be there. Well, they'll always be the bees. Well, not when it, not after the first freeze. <laughs> After the well, first freeze, we might have to adjust. But one man, when like it gets Alaska. cold, when it gets cold, I'm coming. I'm gonna move in with them. <laughs> a place has got a concrete entryway yeah. and it's all flex sealed. I can get comfortable well, yeah. up in there. Yeah, and by then you'll have definitely built up a tolerance to the stings, yeah. so that could work yeah. out perfectly. And you can uh, start building a little shelter in the burnt out car that's in your yard. <laughs> So, I'll sell the I'll sell the venom in little vials and call it THB. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I just wrote that one yeah. down. That's a that's a money maker right there, my friend. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for being out there and watching us uh, here at the Issues with Andy, episode eighty. I'm so happy about that. We've made it over Thank a year you. now. I uh, I'm surprised we're all still alive. Uh, you can see behind Greg Shaley's head there is uh, Andy Andrist's Venmo address and his P.O. box if you feel like sending him anything. It, that's always fun. Uh, also, you can subscribe to Chad Shank's Twitch channel and watch him and uh, Joby and Jason Fury and some of the other drunks of Bisbee play video games. That's always a good time. Uh, what else? Doug Stanhope's... Uh, nope. New book is on Audible. It's available. No encore for the donkey. It's fantastic. Uh, get that and uh, and check that out. And then uh, also issues with Andy merch available for you. Oh, t-shirts. Shit. I don't have nice a t-shirts. That. That's all right. DougStanhope.com is the place to go. And uh, I'll have Todd throw a picture of one of our uh, beautiful models sporting and issues with Andy. I'll put a slide up. Yeah. We'll put it right in there. Get Zach uh, to do one. Yeah. Get one from your son. He just yeah, it. yeah, yeah. He's uh, yeah. Maybe that's not a bad idea. So uh, there you go. And uh, we love you. Thanks for uh, being out there. We're gonna go. Uh, we're old men, so 
we're going to go all to the bathroom, have a potty break, and uh, make some drinks and come back uh, on the other side. The after party, the episode 80 after party. That's on Patreon. So if you would like to join us uh, there, uh, sign up for the Issues with Andy Patreon, and uh, you'll see us there after at the end of every episode. We go over to the Patreon for a little while and chill out and it's get even, close to here. even drunker and higher. Yeah, yeah. Right around you the corner. You can see well, it from here. Yeah. You don't want to walk, but you can see it from here. <laughs> we're like, you know, we're like any one of those, you know, big, bloated sort of rock bands that's been around for 20 or 30 years too long. And, you know, now the show's over and, yeah, we've got to go to the green room after party. But we're all going to go to separate dressing rooms first. And complain and about Aerosmith. the other members of the band, right? Yeah. So I can't uh, we'll stand do... you, but we're making millions uh, tonight. Fuck Joe Perry, what a cocksucker! So that's I'm not singing. I'm not singing "Best of My Love." Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you don't do Patreon, out. that's okay. We we love you anyway. We're glad you're here. We do two shows a, a week for free. That's a lot of content. We so do you're four not getting shows short... a week, by the way. We but two for shows. free, I said. Uh, two of them. I mean, that's two shows, free shows a week. That's uh, that's that's good content, and we're here for you because we love you, and we want to share our Andy with the world. So we're glad you're there. Tell a friend, and we'll see you next time. Later.